I Have This Old Gun is presented by the official rare coin and bullion dealer of the National Rifle Association, Universal Coin and Bullion. With the advent of uh, televisions appearing in the majority of homes throughout the country in the early 1950s, uh, a genre of television program, the Western, uh, was literally catching fire on the airwaves. And this also uh, transferred to uh, the big screen, the silver screen. Uh, we had the rise of John Wayne, uh, Harry Carey Jr., Ben Johnson, the John Ford stock players, uh, for all these wonderful westerns that came out in the late 40s and early 50s. And William B. Ruger thinking that uh, this resurgence of interest in the Old West, this uh, dedication towards uh, th all things western by nature, might lead to the public having an interest in a, uh, an inexpensive firearm, a uh, small caliber like a 22, uh, that looked like the Old West gun. Uh, so in 1953, he introduced the Ruger Single Six. The Ruger Single Six came along at just the right time. It was the heyday of the cowboy TV show, uh, right at a time when Colt was not interested in making single action uh, revolvers anymore. Bill Ruger, good capitalist, certainly was. And the idea of doing the 22 caliber first was brilliant. 22 ammunition is affordable, uh, it's commonly available, and it's fun to shoot. That was a characteristic, a hallmark of the early Ruger guns. Uh, they had to have wide appeal, but they also had to be fun to shoot. The single six was the first gun that Bill Ruger designed that really made use of investment castings. The frame was an investment casting. And that started Ruger on his long and very successful path of producing commercial firearms using investment castings as a way to not only uh, reduce cost, but to produce very complicated shapes and uh, uh, shapes that would be able to uh, handle the pressures and the stresses of their, of their function while at the same time being attractive and being, and being easy to manufacture. When initially offered for sale in 1953, uh, the Ruger Single Six sold for uh, $57. Today, uh, a gun, it's a wonderful gun, still in production, uh, sells retails for about four to five hundred dollars. What makes the single six so appealing to such a diverse crowd of shooters is that it's offered in a wide variety of chamberings as well as different barrel lengths. So it's equally at home on the range, on a trap line, on the competition field, or small game hunting. Like the center fire uh, single actions, uh, the single six really came into its own when it began to be offered with adjustable sights. Uh, later down the road when it began to be offered as a convertible, which allowed it to chamber both uh, 22 Magnum in a separate cylinder and 22 long rifle. Uh, and of course being a single action, those cylinders are very quick to, to, quick to swap out. Since 1953, there have been a variety of single sixes to uh, collect. Uh, there's been a lightweight version, there are engraved versions, stainless versions, blued versions, uh, aluminum frame versions. Uh, a big collecting interest is the uh, 1953 to 1973 versions of the gun because in 1973, uh, Ruger introduced the uh, transfer bar safety and also offered to have all the pre-1973 uh, Ruger single sixes returned uh, for free to have this upgrade or retrofitting of the transfer bar safety uh, added to the gun. Bill Ruger captured the spirit of the American market. Everybody wanted, after watching Gunsmoke on TV, wanted a single action revolver. So what did the geniuses at Colts do? They discontinued it. 
That gave Bill Ruger all the opening he needed. First he developed uh, his Black Hawk, and of course it had to have a little companion. So along comes, in very short time, the, the single six. He had, for a brief period, virtually a monopoly on, uh, on, American, on the American dream. Every kid wanted a single action revolver and was saving up for it, putting nickels in the cookie jar until he got to be 18. Well, Bill Ruger was looking out for those guys. I have this old gun brought to you by Universal Coin and Bullion, the official rare coin and bullion dealer of the National Rifle Association. Visit us online for other I Have This Old Gun videos at AmericanRifleman.org.